Welcome to the In The Bag video. Let's get started. Today, we've got another yearly special here, an In The Bag video. A couple things have changed, a couple things are the same, but uh, here we are. I have a black Bauer React with a visor on. The uh, league logo right there. We also added a orange stripe to the back of the helmets. Not sure if that's gonna fly by with Coach. He's actually on a road trip right now with the NA guys. And this visor is a CCM Pro Straight. I got this visor off Sideline Swap. I didn't like how the CCM one you buy from the stores, like I feel like I'm a freaking astronaut when I use that because the visor is so big, but this, it's cut a little bit short. Probably not the most protective visor, but the gloves. Here's the thing with the gloves. Right now, we still are waiting for our team gloves to come in, so I had to pick up some, some someone else's gloves. They're black. I hate them, but they're the Bauer Vapor team glove. Pretty standard palm. Yeah, that's the glove. Nothing special at all. Next up, we got the practice jersey. I'm still waiting for my jersey to come in, so for right now, I could only show you the practice jersey, but it's uh, got the hats logo on it, and it's reversible. And now, it's orange. So yeah, these are actually the like the 18 new jerseys, and I kind of just kind of were just given these, but I like these a lot better than just a single color because I don't like switching jerseys every single time. New to the collection. My old 2X Pro uh, elbow pads completely broke. Um, so we got the, uh, the FD4 Pro elbow pads. So these are pretty sick. They fit a lot better than my old 2X Pro. These are still an adult small, but for some reason, Bauer likes to size their, um, their smalls like medium. So it's uh, super lightweight. Um, this is really only what you need for an elbow pad. You don't need something like huge and like, protection like you're only trying to like protect your elbow basically and your forearm which is what these basically they protect both now we have the shin pads uh these have seen some use i don't know if you guys can see this but there is a crack right here so you know i'm, I'm blocking shots i'm getting in front of pucks and these broke Nothing to worry about right now as they still work perfectly fine. This has a removable liner like the other, like the last video I showed, same exact thing. It's a little bit grosser. Just got practice done today, so they're kind of wet and disgusting. These are solid 2X Pros. I've had these for like two years and they've been nothing but good, so recommend them. We have the shoulder pads here, FT1s. I've these are the same shoulder pads in the last video where I was talking about how the, there's supposed to be a pad right here, but um, I kind of just, they kind of ripped off um, on both sides. So if you watched the last video, I fixed these and then they ripped again. So now we are literally rocking with like lacrosse shoulder pads. We literally have nothing here, but Probably wouldn't recommend it, but it actually feels pretty nice. Super light, just the durability is kind of garbage, so I would recommend getting something else, to be honest. There are our, our, our game socks. They're pretty, pretty standard. They got like this mesh material up here. Pants with a shell on top, so. So we got the hats, Patrick's logo for the shell. And then these pants, I got these pants off Sideline Swap to sponsor the video, but um, I've had these pants for like two years. They've held up great, um, no complaints really. Most importantly, we have the skates. Getting your skates from Sideline Swap, I highly recommend it. You're getting like at least $400 off every single time. Even like the brand new skates, you're getting $400 off. For the skate purposes, the Hyperlite has not been holding up too great. Look at that. It looks like someone decided to grab their stick and slash. Probably, honestly, happened in drills, but like the first week it started peeling like this. Like one of my friends was really like, you gotta get new skates and it was like, this summer and I was like, I literally just got skates six months ago. Um, it's getting a little bit rusty in there. Like this, this happened first week. Just like little stuff that you would be like that, 
normally isn't a problem. It's mostly just like the decals and stuff coming off, but. All right, before we get into the sticks, I'm gonna go through my Under Armour. It's the same stuff as last year, just your standard Bauer, Bauer Under Armour, the standard socks, skate socks. Those smell so bad, I don't even. And then we got this. And we got the tape bag filled with Howie's hockey stuff. We got grip tape, normal tape, and uh, Howie's hockey, good to go. Got the uh, West Coast Sports Center in Brookfield skate bag. We got the extra pair LS Pulse TI runners. Same exact runner as my other, as what's on my skate right now. And I have just another blade, I don't take it out. So now, let's get into my sticks. As you can see, the collection has grown. With the oldest stick in the collection, and also a broken stick, we have the Trigger 6 Pro. Love this stick. I've I used this stick for four months, but unfortunately, apparently like a lot of most sticks, like the blade just breaks every single time I ever use a stick. So here we go, here's the damage. Like top of the stick is just, Oh look, gone, like I don't, I guess we can just go in like my least favorite, well that was my favorite, but it's broken. From like least favorite to favorite. We got the Nexus Geo, one of three here, but it's a, um, it's a P28 curve. I'm a P92 guy. I use this stick for the review, kind of that's the only time I really use this stick. I just, the curve is just, it's a lot, it's really, it's a lot of curve for me. Now this is not third, but it's a little bit of a sneak peek to the video in the future of a review. I'm not gonna say what order it is in my stick collection, but I, I'm just not gonna say anything. So be patient for that video, it's coming up. This is the debate a lot of people have been asking for. Do I like my Live 5 Nexus Geo or the Bauer Sync? It, I, I love both these sticks, so I honestly don't even know. It's gotta be the, the Live 5 Nexus Geo, it has to be. This stick is honestly, I said in the video, the best stick I've ever used. It's just, it's honestly, cause I've used Nexus Geos before, it's the lie. The lie makes the entire stick, it's completely different. Or at least for me, I'm short, so it's a little bit different, but like, it just feels so natural to me. I just, I just love it. The only reason I got a Live 5 Nexus Geo was because I found it on Sideline Swap because it was a pro stock stick. So Sideline Swap had a Live 5 stick. So I was searching for one because I wanted to use it. It was $150, $150 off the retail price. It's, rid it's ridiculous. And if you guys want more money off, you guys can use my code TRUE93 and you guys get $20 off your first purchase. You're saving so much, like might as well just get, spend hundred dollars on the stick because with the code and what you're getting off, you're just, you're saving so much money. So the Nexus Sync, it's so close to first. It really is. This stick is fantastic. Like, like the shots come off the stick so fast. It, it's just a fantastic stick. So if you guys want to get a sync, get it. You can also customize it to a Live 5, which is something I want to do. That's in the bag video. Make sure you guys check out Sideline Swap. It's where athletes come to buy and sell their gear at very discounted prices. Make sure you check them out and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.